Hi, everyone. The book I have for you today is called Luminous, Living Things That Light Up the Night, an information or nonfiction book written and illustrated by Julia Kuo. To JG and the whole Half Dome Point Reyes group, thank you to Stephen Haddock from MBARI for his expertise and guidance. Luminous, living things that light up the night. When it's dark out, we need light to see. Light is a kind of energy that our eyes can see. Some light sources are natural, like the sun and fire. Other sources of light, like light bulbs, are created by people. But what if your body could make its own light? When a living creature, like a firefly, produces light, it is called bioluminescence. Bioluminescent creatures make the light through special chemical reactions inside their bodies. You could gleam on the forest floor. Fox fire or fairy fire is light made by bioluminescent fungi growing and glowing on rotting wood. Or shimmer inside a shadowy cave. The glowworms of New Zealand and Australia are actually young insects that will grow up and turn into flies. They're the only bioluminescent creatures in the world that live in caves. These glowworms dangle sticky glowing strands to catch insects to eat. Just imagine. You could use your light to dazzle the deepest ocean depths. The deep sea anglerfish dangles a bioluminescent ball like a fish hook to lure smaller fish into its mouth. These fish live deep in the ocean where no sunlight reaches. It would be totally dark there without bioluminescence. Or to startle and distract your enemies. Vampire squid, named for their cape-like arms, release a glowing blue cloud from their arm tips when they're being chased. The cloud confuses their predators, the creatures that are hunting the squid to eat them, helping the squid to escape into the darkness. Or even to find a snack. Dragonfish shine a red light that only they can see to find prey, the smaller fish that they hunt and eat in the dark ocean. You could shine your light to call for help. The crown jellyfish uses light like a burglar alarm by creating many bright blue flashes when it is attacked. These flashes attract bigger fish and give the jellyfish a chance to escape. More than half of all jellyfish protect themselves by producing light. Or to hide in plain sight. The jeweled squid gradually changes its brightness depending on the time of day. Matching the sunlight or moonlight coming from the surface above makes it hard for predators looking up from below to see the squid. When animals blend into their surroundings to avoid being seen, it is called camouflage. And you'd be just one of trillions of living things that can make their own light. Scientists think that there may be more than that there may be more bristlemouth lightfish, a tiny deep sea fish, in the world than any other animal with a backbone. They use biolum bioluminescent light for camouflage and to coordinate swimming together in a school. Can you imagine? Such creatures are all around us. Dinoflagellates are tiny one-celled creatures that make a spark of light when disturbed. On some nights, billions of dinoflagellates can cause the ocean to sparkle with each wave. Scientists do not fully understand all the ways that these creatures use their light. Many we haven't even discovered yet. Over three quarters of all the animals in the open ocean make their own light. Scientists are still discovering more bioluminescent creatures every year. They already know about thousands of different bioluminescent species, kinds of living things, from tiny bacteria to beetles, worms, snails, sea stars, 
and even sharks. Each a part of our extraordinary world. Biodiversity is a word for all the different types of species that you would find in one place. Every unique creature helps to keep our world healthy. So always look. The common piddock is a type of clam that makes its home by drilling into rocks. Through bioluminescence, it glows blue-green around the edges. Although they are rarely eaten today, these clams would light up the hands and mouths of those who once ate them. Really look. If we used less light, what could we see? Some places have too much human-made light at night. Creatures living in or passing through these places can be disrupted by this light pollution. In places with less light, bioluminescence can sometimes be seen by astronauts in space. When it's dark out. Julia Kuo is a Taiwanese-American author-illustrator who has worked with the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and Science Friday, and has taught illustration courses at Columbia College, Chicago, and at her alma mater, Washington University in St. Louis. She's illustrated Livia Blackburn's I Dream of Paw Paw, Martha Brockenbrough's and Grace Lynn's I Am an American, the Wong Kim Ark Story, and written and illustrated Let's Do Everything and Nothing, among others. Julia lives in Seattle, Washington. She has encountered foxfire in Taroko Gorge, looked up at glowworms in the caves of Te Anau, and kayaked through the bioluminescent waters of Point Reyes National Seashore. Thanks for listening. <laughs>